Hey, 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 everybody. It's Corey J, aka Coach K, your happiness coach. I help people become healthy, well, and whole mind, body, heart, and soul. Learning how to be happy after experiencing uh, trauma in relationships. Today, I wanted to come on um, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. I wanted to come on today and um, begin just kind of sharing a little bit more information about the narcissist and mainly because it's just that time of year, right? Hey, Myron, thank you for tuning in. As you guys are coming in, please say hello so I can say hello back. Hey, Crystal, thank you for watching. Once again, guys, if you're catching me live or via the replay, my name is Corey J, aka Coach K, and I am your happiness coach. I'm here to teach you how to be healthy, well, and whole mind, body, heart, and soul. So today's topic, guys, is Hey Marlene, good to see you. Um, today's topic is the narcissist, the smear campaign, and their flying monkeys. And I know it sounds really strange. Flying monkeys, oh my gosh, what's that? Well, we're going to get right on into it. So what tends to happen with a narcissist? They have um, extreme behaviors that are very subtle. Okay, and I want to make you aware of those behaviors so you can really know what's going on in your surroundings and with the people that you choose to surround yourself with. Now, a lot of times we don't know that a narcissist is in our midst. We really have no idea. Hey, Dario, thank you for tuning in. We have no idea because they are very good at being who they are. They uh, practice who they are. And so the people around them really have no clue. It's, it's only when you become studied on the type of behavior that they um, display and narcissistic personality disorder, what it is that you will be able to actually um, see them coming a mile away, okay? So the one thing I wanna say first is that m women who display narcissistic personality disorder um, normally have been abandoned by their dads. Hey, Renell, thank you for tuning in. They've been abandoned by their fathers. Okay, men who display narcissistic personality disorder have been abandoned by their mothers or they have a horrible relationship with either parent. Okay, and nine times out of 10, you know, the women, they go into relationships with these men, making them pay for what their fathers didn't give them and what their fathers didn't do, having them make up for the lack of parenting from their father, the lack of love their father didn't give on the, on the female side. And then when it comes to men and their mothers, if they have a, an awful relationship with their mothers, or their mother really wasn't present, they make other women pay for the mistakes their mother made. That's what narcissistic personality disorder really comes from, okay? And so when it comes to how they treat people, they really are taking out on their partner what they want to say to their parent that was absent, to the parent that neglected them. They're really taking out all that anger and all that frustration on that absentee parent from, for, from that absentee parent on their partner. And it's really hurtful, you know, and it's because they have a lot of hurt feelings. They have a lot of anger towards that absentee parent that they take out on their partner. And so when it comes to the smear campaign, guys, what I want to let you know is this. When it comes to the smear campaign and the narcissist, they will go, when they know they've hurt you, when they know that they've done something really, really, really messed up, they will do what I call, uh, but in, in PR, I guess they really call it, um, well, you get ahead of it before it actually comes out, right? So what they will do is they'll start asking people questions like, hey, what do you think about so-and-so? You know, just, just to start the conversation, just to begin to plant seeds of doubt in someone else's mind about you because they already know they want to get rid of you. So they begin to really speak negative, negatively about you to other people. And they reel them in by saying things like I just said, what do you think about so-and-so? What do you think about candy? Uh, you know, because I was just thinking that, you know, I, I don't know, I see a few things about her that just kind of, I, I I'm not really fond of, you know, she said X, Y, and Z. What do you think about that? What do you think about this? What do you think? So they reel you in to try to get you in the conversation of talking about this other person so they can plant seeds of doubt. Now, you might not have a problem with this other person. You might know the same person and you may not have had any qualms with this person, but they will bring up something that'll make you go, huh, maybe you're right. Maybe I shouldn't talk to them anymore. Maybe I should keep my distance. Maybe they're not the kind of person I thought they were. So maybe I should not really keep, you know, be friends with them. 
You know, and they do that on purpose because they're getting ready to discard them. And it's not just personal relationships, guys. It's friendships, it's business. It's, you know, any level of relation, relations with people. They do this on, okay? And they do it to prevent you from moving forward. They do it from preventing to prevent you from succeeding in whatever area you're trying to succeed, whether it be in relationships. Hey, guys, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate all of you for joining me this afternoon on this conversation. And we're talking about the narcissist, the smear campaign, and their flying monkeys. And so right now we're really talking about the smear campaign and how they reel people in, okay? And so what they tend to do as well is continuously bring your name up so that people can begin to doubt your character. So people can begin to doubt who you are as an individual. Now, you don't do any harm to nobody. You mind in your own business, right? You're doing whatever it is that you know to do. You're kind to people. You don't mean no harm to nobody. None of us are perfect, right? But they do these things to bring down your character to other people. You're right, because everyone is responsible for their own actions. Narcissists do not like to take responsibility for their own actions. So instead of taking responsibility for who they are and what they do, they really will bring other people into the conversation. They will, they'll bring other people in to start doubting you as well so that he can have or she can have a gang of people to support their theory about you that is non-existent. They will create something that they want to exist so that other people can chime in with them and you'll begin to to be outcast you'll be isolated by people and they'll do they'll even go as far as sabotaging whatever it is you're working on so that you won't succeed in it they they might know people in your industry and they'll begin to talk to people behind the scenes so that you won't get that promotion you won't get that gig you won't get that contract They'll sabotage your relationships. If Even if they're in a relationship with you, they'll sabotage that too because they want you to be the one who looks crazy. They want you to be the person who looks like you are off your rocker. They want you to be the person who looks like you are not all together when the truth really is, it is not you, it's them. Okay, and they want you to be the one who's asking questions like, what am I doing wrong? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? They want you to doubt yourself. They want you to begin to feel insecure. They want you to begin to question your ability to think cognitively. That's why the smear campaign is important to them. Because if they can smear your name and smear your character and have people questioning your integrity, then they have a leg up on you. Why? Because their intent is to make you look bad to the people that they're around or the people that you're around together. They want to be the person who has a leg up on you because they have to be superior. Narcissists have a superiority complex and they have to be superior to everybody else around them, okay? They have to be the HNIC or whatever it is. They have to be the one in charge, okay? So they have to look like they know everything They and they will even go as far as pinning you against people around you they will make it seem like they will put you in competition with people directly in connection with you okay that's why the smear campaign is important to them you could be ahead of the game and they will put the next person who was supposed to be on your team or your partner you guys are running together they will put that person against you because they want you isolated they want you alone they want you questioning yourself they want you feeling insecure and incompetent when you know that you are strong wise and smart and intelligent enough to accomplish that goal and task and the narcissist nine times out of ten is not they need the accolades of other people to gain what they're getting they need the accolades of other people to feel superior they need the accolades of other people to boost their ego and get what it is that they need to get it's called supply okay i hope you guys are following me once again thank you for tuning in i just want to make bring this clarity because this is the time of year where narcissists really hook into people okay and when smear campaigns are really 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 going on because what they want is to go into the next year on top of the people who they are uh, controlling, if that makes sense. Thank you, Crystal. I appreciate you guys all for tuning in this afternoon, but I really want to bring this light out because it's important to me that people understand that narcissism is subtle, although extreme. It's something that is laid on very thick, but at the same time, you won't even realize what's happening. And it's something that will break you down and make you think that you have lost your natural mind when you have not. You are fine. There's nothing wrong with you. It's, the, it's their tactic to get to you, to get the supply they need out of you, which is a reaction.
So the smear campaign is important to them so they can continue to go ahead and get what it is that they need, which is supply. They need a reaction. They need people to gratify who they are or who they pretend to be because narcissists really live in a false reality that they create for themselves. The flying monkeys. That part is really significant because they will use other people to do their bidding for them. They use other people to do their work for them because they don't want to get their hands dirty. So what they will do is they will take someone else's, and this is where the smear campaign comes in as well. They'll talk to somebody else about you and then have them go look at your social media to check in on you because they don't want you to see that they're looking at you, that they're watching you. So they'll have somebody close to them look at your social media or look at your um, or, com or connect with you and you might not even have a clue that the person is connected to them and you've accepted them in your network right or you'll begin to see people looking at your stories or looking at your facebook or commenting on your on your post or looking at your linkedin or sending you emails different things on their behalf just so that the narcissist can know what's going on with you they want other people they have other people do their bidding for them and they're called flying monkeys it's not something that i came up with it's a term that is actually factual when it comes to narcissistic personality disorder and narcissistic abuse okay there's they are cowards and they're cowardly in their behavior when it comes to actually being truthful and honest and all the other stuff so they have other people and then what they'll do is they'll get flying monkeys to do their bidding also to try to validate their point about you that's not even true they have other people looking in on you so they can say you know what she did post that or he did post that you're right they are a little crazy they are a little this they are a little that you know what yeah they did say this thing. you might be telling you might be on you might be right you know about them and the truth really is no they're not right they just have a very good way of finessing their version of the truth to get other people to believe what they're saying about you and so I want to share this information because I want you all to really be wise um, and pay attention to what's going on around you, to the people around you, and pay attention to what they're doing when it comes to you, to who's saying what and how they're saying it, to who's starting to question you and your belief system, to who's starting to question you and what it is that you're doing when it has nothing to do with them, all right? Pay attention to the person that you're in a relationship with or that you're in partnership with in anything, friendship, and how, there are, how they are starting to... Uh, respond to you or talk to you or separate from you and how the people that you thought were close to you are starting to now treat you because if they're connected to that person nine times out of ten they're believing what that person has to say and they're lo no longer listening to you thank you crystal same to you blessings to you thank you so much for all of your kind messages uh, that you've been sending lately i appreciate that you know, all the encouragement, a lot, all of you guys who are tuning in now, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're catching me again via the replay or live, just to reset, my name is Corey J, aka Coach K. I am your happiness coach, and I help people become healthy, well, and whole mind, body, heart, and soul after experiencing toxic relationships. And just a little about me and why I started doing this, guys. I started doing this because I lived it. I lived it for five years, some years ago, okay? But I was in a relationship that was extremely volatile. Um, and it's something that I didn't want to admit. I didn't want to admit that I was in this kind of relationship. And I've had friendships that were narcissistic. I didn't want to admit that that was that way. I took on the blame for everything. Everything was always my fault. And I really thought it was. Until one day, I heard a message that was similar to what I'm talking about right now. And it really helped to set my mind free to what was going on around me. Didn't mean to make that rhyme. It just did. <laughs> So I'm not going to be before you long, guys, but listen, if you or anybody you know is in a similar situation or maybe you know somebody who is like that, please click the link in the description and set up a power session with me and let's see if we're a match to work together because I am in this business of being a happiness coach to help people really find their happy place and really find um, what they need to become the person they've always wanted to be. And it starts on the inside. Five, uh, five equal favors. Thank you so much because I appreciate that. Thank you for everybody who is tuned in this afternoon for this quick message of Heart and Soul Conversations, The Narcissist, The Smear Campaign, and Their Flying Monkeys. You guys can find this recording again. It'll be saved in my uh, on my timeline. I will also save it to the Heart and Soul Conversations podcast page. So if you're not a fan of that page yet, please go on over, like, subscribe, you can find me also on Anchor, Google Podcasts, 
at uh, heart and soul dot com heart and soul podcast dot com especially on google anchor is anchor dot fm forward slash heart and soul all right guys thank you so much for watching i am Corey j your heart your happiness coach as i always say happiness is an inside job so <laughs> be the magic within be your own kind of magic because happiness comes from the magic within happy uh, happy holidays merry christmas till next time guys ciao